And caution already. The 60 Boston Centric stopped right on the front stretch. Oh, and heavy by contact. Him, the inside ball. You hear the frustration. You see the frustration. Pounding on the steering wheel. Screaming on the radio. This is Ryan Truex we're riding along with. And Ryan Truex gets into the back of him. Mm. Yeah, just misjudgment there by, by the driver. You know, it certainly wasn't anything intentional in that situation, but that doesn't help Austin Cendrick at all. We're going to ride on board with the 60. You see clear out front. Has no idea it's coming. It's turned around off turn four. Pretty solid contact, and now you see why he's so disappointed. Go low, yeah. go low, go low, go low. He didn't do anything wrong. That's what's the disappointing part is you've done nothing wrong. You know, you got yourself single foul and think that you're in a good position there. And, yeah, and again, it wasn't – Ryan Truist wasn't trying to do anything there, except he just misjudged. And, you know, you're looking out at the front of a car, and when you misjudge by only three or four inches, unfortunately, it uh, creates a situation like this at times. No, um, I could almost cry because this team has worked – so hard <laughs> and just to be not able to experience this race and my last race with this team it really bothers me so i yeah, thank everyone at ford olive fans for performance i'm just really frustrated how concerned are you with two races before the playoffs austin to what this does to the picture uh i haven't thought that far ahead just hate it for that team hate it for the 60 guys just i knew i was gonna get teary because they worked so hard and it's just really tough. It's been a tough year, but keep pushing. Got to keep fighting and uh, be good in playoff form and uh, keep going.